If you're a big fan of Star Wars like me, then you've heard of Ahsoka Tana. Now, when she first appeared in the Clone Wars CG animated series, she wasn't the most popular character. By the end, though, she'd become one of the most beloved characters in all of Star Wars next to Luke Skywalker. And now she's in The Mandalorian. She's appeared in the latest episode. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about something that I haven't seen any Star Wars series channels talk about at all. Ahsoka Tano was the last test of the Jedi Order by the Force. Let's get into that. Ahsoka Tano is a Togruta. They're a species that lived for about 200 years, so she's rather young as a Togruta. And there are some questions about Rosario Dawson's appearance as Ahsoka. Her leku maybe aren't as long as they should be. But other than that, her portrayal of Ahsoka in The Mandalorian was great. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Ahsoka as a final test for the Jedi Order. In the Clone Wars series, around near the ending of the series, there was a story arc where Barriss Offee betrayed Ahsoka by framing her for a terrorist attack against the Jedi Temple. And there was the whole episode was like an ode to the fugitive where Ahsoka was on the run, Anakin was after her, the clones were after her, and the Jedi Order basically just turned against her. They didn't take her side at all and they kicked her out of the Order and they tried to um, put her on trial for a crime she didn't do. And I think the whole thing was a test for the Jedi Order. The whole reason why the Jedi fell, the whole reason for the war was to push the Jedi to the brink. They had gone too far to the light. The one thing that we're beginning to learn in Star Wars is if you go too far to the dark or if you go too far to the light, it corrupts you. The light can corrupt you as much as the dark. And the Jedi had become, I wouldn't say evil, but they had become insensitive. They would often only do things, you know, if it, it was a part of their mission. They wouldn't just do good deeds if it was a good deed to do. If it was something that they just... It's a, a situation where um, there was something going on with the village that Hondo was attacking in the Clone Wars series. And Obi-Wan didn't want to get involved. It wasn't their problem. It wasn't, wasn't a part of the war. Anakin wanted to. Anakin, Anakin wanted to get into the war. Get into this fight with Hondo to stop him from attacking this village. And the whole episode was a very great ode to Akira Kurosawa and his seven samurai. It was it was a great episode. But it gets into that problem. They 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 become how should I say it? They become insensitive. They're not evil, they still care, but you get the meaning. They've become dispassionate. And because they've gone so far to the light. Ahsoka Tano, I believe, was the Jedi Order's final test. A final test to see if they were worthy of continuing. And they failed it. They should have stuck with her. They should have stood up for her against the accusations against her, allowed her to stay in the Order while there was an a formal investigation instead of immediately kicking her out and throwing her to the wolves they should have stu stuck to her and they didn't and ultimately I think this is what really doomed them 
This is what really brought an end to the Jedi Order. This is what, what ultimately doomed them. Because if, if Ahsoka had been there, when Palpatine confided in Anakin in Revenge of the Sith and told him that he was a Sith Lord, and he went, and Anakin went back and told Mace Windu that Palpatine was Darth Sidious. He was the Dark Lord that they've been looking for, the Dark Lord of the Sith that they've been looking for all this time. Had Ahsoka been there, she would have stopped Anakin from going to the Chancellor's office. Mace Windu would have defeated Palpatine and it would have been over and the Jedi Order would have been saved. But because the Jedi Order turned against Ahsoka, because she saw that they didn't trust her, and she had lost trust in the Jedi Order itself, and that's why she walked away, that sealed their fate. That was the final test of whether they were worthy of survival or not. Anakin would not have become Darth Vader if Ahsoka had remained in the Jedi Order. Because she left, he became Vader. She would later go on to become Fulcrum, work with the Rebels, and now she's in the Mandalorian. And she's hunting down Grand Admiral Thrawn, possibly still on the search for Ezra Bridger. And we'll see what happens when the Ahsoka series starts, which it's in production, but we don't know when it's going to start appearing on Disney+. Plus. But that's what I wanted to come out and say, is I think that Ahsoka's betrayal by the Jedi Order doomed them. It was their final test. Test to see if they if they worthied survival. They didn't. They turned against her. They proved that they had become very dispassionate and they just wouldn't survive. And so Order 66 happened, the Jedi Order fell, the last of the Jedi, the few that survived, scattered into hiding, and never really recovered. Thanks for watching. I am the Professor. How'd you like my pilot episode, my new series? In future episodes, I'll be talking about geek culture and video games, so please look forward to it. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Bye.